We went straight in to see the floodgate his company invented. This is one of our floodgates, although it's not finished yet. Oh, so this is it. This is one of the Takumi's floodgates that has been installed on a riverbank close by. In hearing that the gate required neither an operator nor any power, I had imagined a sophisticated high-tech device, but it turns out to be a very simple mechanism. The most important elements are the weight at the top of the gate called a balance weight, and a float on the inner side of the gate. The gate's mechanism for opening and closing works like this. When there is heavy rainfall and the rainwater accumulates on the right side, the gate will be pushed to the left side. Then, with just that slight force, the balance weight falls to the right side, opening the gate to the left. By the principle of leverage, a gate that weighs more than 500 kilograms can open automatically with changes in the water level. On the other hand, when the level of the river rises due to backflow from high tides or tsunamis, the gate will be pushed to the right and the balance weight will return to the left. The float will gain buoyancy and that force then causes the gate to shut tight. This automatic floodgate is designed to open and close using the power of leverage and buoyancy, but no electric or other power source. Many conventional floodgates require winding or other manual operation to be opened. A person must be available to check the water level and manually open and close the gate. In fact, when the huge tsunamis hit northeast Japan in March 2011, many volunteer firemen lost their lives in trying to operate floodgates. By using our floodgate, what once required a human hand can be achieved without any operator. That can save lives. Also, unlike conventional floodgates, the Takumi's gate does not need a gate post or pier. This has cut construction costs by 30 to 40 percent. And it also helps preserve the riverine landscape. It is features like these that make the Takumi's innovation a revolution in floodgate design. But he encountered more than his share of difficulties in reaching this point. Well, we went through endless trials and many errors. We got a lot of negative remarks. It wasn't easy. Also, achieving balance with the actual device using the calculations we had made was very difficult. It was hard to make it work as we had figured it. It is 15 years since the Takumi's company first started development of this mechanical automatic floodgate. Added to the difficulties they had in the design phase, without a proven track record, it was difficult to get the device accepted. People are always afraid to take a risk on something new. They go on using what they know without questioning it and feel safe that way. So to change that and convince people with that mindset, we had to keep on telling them how good, how effective it is. It was an uphill battle, I can tell you. Even after the floodgate had been installed to obtain government recognition, they needed to carry out testing and demonstrations over and over. All their hard work paid off in 2012. The floodgate was selected by a government ministry as a recommended technology. This triggered widespread recognition of the device. Over the last several years, the number of installations has soared. In 2012, more than 120 of the floodgates were constructed around Japan. I want to take this all over the world. If this could be of use to others, I would love to take on that challenge.
I really hope to be able to do that.